Capricorn, I am here to do your early September souls calling uh, tarot read for you. Um, I just had some sage burning to clear up the energies that I am going to um, ask the bell to sound. And if you guys just want to take a deep breath with me to get your energies infused in the reading. Capricorns, I am happy to do your reading today. You had like a little uh, sound on the side of the bell that it kind of was skipping. I've never actually heard that before. So maybe you feel it, maybe your energy is like getting affected by other people right now. Um, but let's see what is going on with you. I'm going to ask um, your angel spirits guides for two cards for your past position about what your soul should know right now. Two cards for your middle position. Two cards for um, the prospected outcome, anything you need to know for your best good, and we will go from there. All right, Cappies. Uh, Angel Spirits Guides, please. One more for the past position for Capricorn. Angel Spirits Guides, please. <laughs> you guys might have been going through situations in the past that need more than <laughs> two cards. I hear you. Okay. One more for the past position. Okay. Thank you. Uh, two for the middle position, please, for Capricorns. Two for the middle position for Capricorns, please. Two for the middle position. One more for the current conditions for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits guides. Two for the last position or the outcome they need to know about, please. Angel Spirits guides. All right, and Capricorns, I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot because it has a lot of um, intuitive messages. I'm an intuitive reader. And um, with the moon in Scorpio right now and Venus moving into Scorpio today, um, you should be able to be picking up on some in intuitive messages as well. So let's see your past position. All right, and it looks like uh, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Um, so it looks like you were holding back in some situation, like not speaking, um, not speaking everything that you felt, maybe holding um, back from situations or people. Um, but actually see, you know, doing that to align yourself with uh, what you think was your best path in that situation. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, which could indicate betrayal, hurt, someone like sneaking away and, and stealing things in the middle of the night, um, you not seeing this, um, but also, you know, th this leaving, you know, some, some wounds in its path. Um, with the Knight of Swords, you know, this may have come on quite quickly. This may have been a truth that came on to you quite quick, quickly, but also, you know, when you know the truth, you know, you're, you're open to make different decisions. You're open, your horizons are open to choose how you go. Now he's moving into the past. So perhaps this is something or a situation or a person you've been dealing with for quite some time. But there's also, um, there's also birds coming up out of the landscape. So I feel like there is, um, or you have allowed some kind of hope to shine through this hurt. So that's, that's beautiful. Um, for the current positions, we have the Knight of Cups. He is reversed, but I do feel like you'll be offering um, offering love again, or someone's going to be offering you love again, probably very slowly, trepidatiously, um, especially if it was the same person or situation in your past that kind of kind of um, hurt you. Um, we also have uh, the strength in reverse. No, temperance. Temperance in reverse. So you're being patient. You're not going forward. Um, it came up this way. So you're not going forward. Um, you're not running towards, um, you know, the hangman's post. 
but you're just kind of observing the situation, which is really, really, uh, that's really advantageous to you. You do have your angels uh, protecting you and you have strength and knowledge at your back. So that's beautiful Capricorns. You're, um, you're transmuting the hurt energies. Um, you're, you're very serious about it. <laughs> like you're very serious about your position, but you are, um, you are being just and, and you're thinking things out and you're feeling with your heart through this situation. So you are literally having patience right now. Um, lilies are divine and also water. Um, you're not all stuck in the water energy, um, but you're just, um, you're, you're being very noble and um, balanced per, you know, looking at this. Then we have the, uh, the queen of pentacles. In, in reverse, she's so she, So you're looking really at, you're sitting in your solidarity, you're perusing your options for the future, you're building your own stability, you're stable in your own self, knowing that um, whatever happens, you know, you're gonna be fine. It, it's not gonna hurt you any, but also, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, is giving if someone shows up correctly. Uh, it does have the hawk of intuition, you know, on her, on her horn up there and I'm just really being drawn to the horns like you guys are asking um, or, or connecting with some kind of higher guide you will be getting signs and symbols as to what way um, to go in this but you know you're not going you're not ready it's not a swords card you're not going too fast you're just um, perusing the situations perusing perusing what happened um, offering your love to the things that actually interest you and that may be totally separate um, to what happened in the past. You may be just getting involved in growing your interests, um, finding balance in your life in that way. And I did notice that all the, all of these came with your back to, uh, so you may have your back to the past situation, just watching it right now and really getting yourself involved in new work, new creative aspects, things that bring you joy. Um, you know, could be children with the little fish there and just really um, balancing your energy out by staying busy. And let's see what you guys want to say about the last position. All right, and we have the six of wands and this is, um, this is, this is success after a long journey. This is coming out with integrity, coming out with valor. Um, he has a laurel wreath up here and he's being celebrated as, um, you know, somebody that overcame some strifes with balance and integrity. Um, but it was, you know, it being celebrated by your comrades. Perhaps you are getting a new job at work or upgrading at work. Um, but, but knowing, having people see that, yeah, it was a struggle to get here and people acknowledging that for you. So that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> now you have the chariot as well as the eight of wands in reverse. So this is going to be very, uh, <laughs> things are going to be coming into your future very uh, fast and then stop and fast and stop. So it just wants to acknowledge that for you so you know what's going on. Um, so you're going to have breakthroughs um, in your situation, in what you're going towards, and then, um, you know, no kind of further movement for, for a little bit here. Uh, maybe you're expecting messages to come through. Maybe you're expecting action to come through. Um, or, or something to easily just um, meld or mesh together. But even with the temperance card, like it is like a step process at a time, but your guys are indicating that you will come out of this with your integrity. You will come out of this uh, after facing a battle or a war, which is, um, which is well, you know, well earned. And you'll be celebrated by your comrades for, um, for facing your past. He's just looking to the past. You know, you'll be celebrated and upheld. And that is so weird because when I did your, when I was shuffling for your reading, reward and recognition came out twice. And I, I put it aside on the pile for a little bit, but I usually don't do that. So let me just see if, let me just see if I can find it for you guys. Because clearly that was your card after hearing your reading. Um, yeah, recognition and reward came out for you several times as an oracle card. So, you know, you guys may not be able to see way into the future. He is looking down, but you know, you will be rewarded for what you've done with integrity. Um, and I think, you know, integrity and being um, optimistic and, uh, and I'm just being drawn to this one. You guys had some kind of loss in the past. It's the same number here, or I wouldn't even pull it. Um, 
heartache and loss, which was indicated by your last thing, but you will, you know, go forward with your integrity. You'll be stronger because of all this. Um, you'll be celebrated by your comrades and ultimately you guys know what's right for you. So that's a beautiful thing. I'm going to see if I can get some, uh, two more cards for your current position because, um, you know, I just want some more information for you. Ooh, we get a lot of cards. <laughs> Yeah, the, okay, so what came out up right is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So I really feel like I already said you guys are, you know, doing what's right for you. The queens are facing each other. Um, you're standing in your strength. You've been through a battle, but you're also offering yourself that love. Like, this is all about self-love for you. Like, what is best for me? What can I find balance in my life by doing? Um, what what drains me of energy what can i what will i just not accept anymore so that's that's beautiful um and the hangman's on the bottom so maybe you guys are sitting in that space and not making any decisions um quite yet and you know in in order to make a wise decision or um build something build something that's gonna last um you know Sometimes you, you need proof in the pudding. So sometimes you need to stand back and do what's best for you for a while and um, really sit in your own energy as opposed to being um, thrown around with everybody else's. And I got know that you guys are really good at that. Anything else? Oh, the fool. And okay, the, the fool and death. So you guys are gonna be um, transforming uh, your situation, your relationships, um, everything's going to go through a major transformation right now. And um, we actually just got Venus and the moon in uh, Scorpio today, the house of transformation. So um, your womanly energy, um, the way that you uh, get loved, allow yourself to be loved and give, give love is going to be transformed into something that's more alignment with you. And with the fool, um, you know, he is going on a new journey, but he's going there confidently and being curious about the outcome, not being afraid, knowing, you know, okay, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know that change is going to happen. And this fool in this deck is looking towards the past and feeling like he's walking off a cliff. But I feel like this, uh, whatever you are, ha are having transforming is clearly related to a past situation. And so that's just really uh, uplifting to know that, you know, it, your guides want you to know it's going to work out. Um, whatever is best for you is going to work out. Whatever is for us cannot ever be taken from us. So, you know, Capricorns, I think you, you're, you're leveling up somehow, growing something that you truly love. And this is the, the James Prague, uh, Soul's Journey deck. Oh, and you have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So yeah, that works perfectly. Um, and I always read the chakras off of these. Um, so we have the root, the base chakra here, like finding your own stability, like really rooting down deep in the earth, working on material things right in front of you that you can control. Because sometimes uh, when we go through a death and rebirth process, as with, as is uh, the site of Scorpio, you know, everything has to fall down. And it's like when a forest burns, everything burns down to allow new growth. And new growth is literally the fool card. That's uh, limitless potential. It's the Aries card. Um, so, you know, you may feel foolhardily for going forward, but don't. That's how you start your new journey. Um, I'm also being drawn to the yellow chakra. So that would be like confidence in yourself and the sacral chakra. Um, identifying what you love, what is sacred. Um, bringing that into flow with your just, um, with your energies and really um, building your life on the material realm so that you can ascend to the higher chakras. So that's beautiful, Capricorn. And something just fell from one of my other... Dex, let's see what it is. Aww. So we have the diamond from the tea leaf oracle. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. So you're either, and, and you know, preciousness doesn't necessarily mean um, material plane. You could be helping somebody or with words or um, someone could do a compassionate act towards you. So that's just like really beautiful. Um, your guides really <laughs> want to emphasize that you guys are exactly where you need to be right now, Capricorns, and that this is gonna work out for your highest good. Um, you, everyone is going through a transformation process, but 
clearly if you got two death cards, like um, you could be transforming your work life and kind of your um, relationship life or, you know, just having a total transform transformation of your life. And um, Pluto is currently at the end of Capricorn. So really this, it's like a trio. It's like a three, uh, uh, three spot confirmation for you guys. So that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, and I have been... Um, for the Sagittarius's, I read a page out of How to Love by Thich Nhat Hanh, um, who is a Zen Buddhist that I love his teachings of. So let me just pick one for you guys. All right, and we got non-discrimination. In true love, there's no more separation or discrimination. His happiness is your happiness. Your suffering is his suffering. You can no longer say that's your problem in true love. Both happiness and suffering are no longer individual matters. You are him and he is you. In a good relationship, we are like two fingers of the same hand. The little finger doesn't suffer from an inferiority complex and say, I'm so small, I wish I was as big as the thumb. The thumb doesn't have a superiority complex saying, I'm more important. I'm the big brother of the fingers. You have to obey me. Instead, there's perfect collaboration between them. Yeah, and I guess that's what you guys um, are transforming in some way. Um, and that's really what your middle duck talk, uh, your middle middle part, your now, you're really looking um, to find balance. Uh, you want a relationship that's balanced. You don't want to blame me um situation at work or at home or anywhere you just want to kind of bring in the ease and freedom of love so that's beautiful capricorns i was so honored to read your energies today for you guys and um <laughs> i have my son and venus in the eighth house of death and transformation so i absolutely think it's a beautiful process it's a no mud no lotus process um, it's only when we lose everything that we can transmute and transform and regrow. And we regrow with less fear because we've already been through um, the death process. We have nothing to do but gain. All right. I love you, Capricorns. Um, thank you for allowing me to do your reading and have an amazing weekend.